Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, today is the 28th of May. It is prep day for my colonoscopy. And so I'm going to be filling this container up to this line. This is one gallon of fluid to flush my colon and my intestines. And so uh, I've got to fill this up. I'm going to drink this uh, this evening uh, before bedtime and, and flush my system out. And then tomorrow morning uh, when I wake up, I have to drink the other half. So there's, uh, I'm going to drink from this line to here or a little lower tonight uh, before bed. Probably I'm going to start this about six o'clock because uh, by nine o'clock bedtime, uh, then things will have uh, settled down and um, then because uh, this here you are going to turn into Niagara Falls literally uh, the chemical in here you see the chemical it's it's safe but it it's a laxative and so it flushes everything out one of the n nice things uh, about this it's been five years since i i last had my uh, uh last inspection the colonoscopy but i don't do the colonoscopy the the standard way because i because of my surgery they removed my rectum and so i don't have a rectum and i go in a bag this is what i go in but during the flush, I have to stay near the toilet and I usually keep a container near me because this become, gets overwhelmed very, very quickly uh, with just uh, when this starts working. And, and so what I usually, what I've done in the past is have a separate container uh, that's able to hold uh, at least uh, a third of this. And then uh, I'll seal the bag uh, until I feel uh, the um, motion coming, the, the, the wave uh, coming. And then what I'll do, I'll open the bag and, and let it uh, drain into the toilet if I made it to the restroom or I have my uh, container. And it's a, about a, a half gallon size container. And so uh, it'll hold all of the, the flushing, uh, but the first flushing you really don't want to catch in a container. You want to do that over uh, the toilet because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out of you, or in this case, me. And one of the nice things about this, uh, it's been five years since I last uh, had an inspection. Now they include the lemon uh, mix, the lemonade mix. Um, to um to this uh, what uh on this they they tell you on the night before actually today i stop eating so i can't eat for the next 24 hours because my appointment is in the morning so it works out fine i can go without eating it's no big deal and then it's just liquids today clear liquids and so this is part of the flushing routine for today and uh, colonos colonoscopies, uh, they go in through your rectum and then look inside of you. Uh, in some cases, uh, in my case, um, uh, I was uh, partially awake, but I, I, I had enough uh, cognizance to be able to watch the uh, monitor with alongside the doctor because it's, it's not that far from from both of us. He's, he's uh, putting the camera in me and I can actually feel it. You have uh, a mild sedative that uh, uh, kind of makes you a little woozy, but not, not really uh, out of it. You don't really go out <coughs> unconscious unless you, you ask to be unconscious. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I've always been awake to... Uh, watch uh, what's going on and, and the first time that that it occurred you know when it went up my rectum uh, it wasn't uh, that big of a deal because you're sedated uh, so um, the pain is uh, that 
actually there's no pain it's just a little bit of discomfort uh, you feel the camera bumping around inside of uh, uh, your colon uh, while they're pushing it in and, and pulling it out but it's not a big deal so uh, they're not going to do it the traditional way on me because I have um, like I said I have the bag and I have uh, a different area where it comes out of it's actually just above my belt line and, and that's why I have the bags and so anyway uh, for those of you uh, that have never had a colonoscopy this is probably the worst part the flushing the actual colonoscopy is not a big deal because you're sedated uh, you have uh, you don't really go out like I said um, but you feel things bumping around and that's why they give you the sedative so that uh, it's n not as noticed. Uh, you really don't notice. I've not noticed uh, the camera around, but I can feel it a little bit when it when it bumps. Uh, and for those of you, um, colon uh, cancer is very serious and it's uh, important to catch it early. Uh, I, I was able to catch it early. Uh, in my uh, case, and I'm the first, the first male survivor in my family that has uh, caught, uh, that had contracted uh, colon cancer. Uh, both of my grandfathers uh, passed away from colon cancer. My dad, he passed away from colon cancer. So I'm the first, the first male uh to survive colon cancer and it it is genetic it can be genetic in my case it has been proven to be genetic and it was carried down my doctors ha have said so uh, my oncologists have said so and, but and that's why I took a, uh, uh, the uh, cancer screening test um, with um, for all the other different types of cancers because uh, I do have hexavalent chromium in my lungs so that's going to be uh, working on my body for the rest of my life which is very short it's anticipated or already uh, said that by many doctors that it's unlikely that I'll see life after 70 so I'm planning for life from now to 70 and, and I'm going to do everything possible to help Oakland get over uh, the situation that it's currently in because we've had nothing but inexperienced leadership for the last 16 years at least. Uh, then we had four years of no leadership because Ron Dellums didn't want the position and so the uh, city council essentially ran the city of Oakland into the ground and, and so we have I have no confidence in uh, City of Oakland City Council members currently because none of them have experience worth of crap that would be meaningful to you, the City of Oakland residents and voters. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get flushing.